here we go again, I guess. Okay guys, hope everyone's doing great out there today. So this video is a response to the video about me losing my job that I posted a couple of weeks ago. And based on those comments and based on how I felt since then, I have decided to go back to work. And I think that I am going to go back to my old standby, something I'm comfortable with, which is making YouTube videos for you guys. I got you. I can see you furiously typing away angry comments at me right now for this clickbait video. That's okay. Sometimes you gotta play the YouTube game and uh, just get a little clickbaity. But for real guys, I do hope you're having a great day out there today. And yeah, I, uh, I just wanted to make a follow-up video to that video. If you haven't seen it, I kind of just put my heart out there, let you guys know how I felt, my story of why I became a content creator, how I lost my job in the process, and how this became my full-time profession, I guess you could say, because we're belligerent amateurs here, nothing professional about what we do. And when I say we, I mean myself, and I mean you guys very much, because you have always been a massive part of this channel, and there has never been a time when you prove that more than in your responses and in your comments, in your direct messages, to me after I put that video out there. And I just wanna say from the absolute bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much. The way that you guys responded to me just being candid and being 100% honest with you guys and how this whole YouTube content creator thing, yes, it is a dream job. I get to work from home. I get to make my own schedule. I get to play with guitars. I get to interact with all these companies that I have you know, been a customer of and looked up to for years. And now I get to talk to them and work with them directly. Most importantly, I get to interface with you guys because you guys are what drives this channel. You guys are what makes this channel happen in the first place because if I don't have you guys out there to share this stuff with, there's no point in me doing any of it. So. Again, massive, massive thank you. I really do feel like my fire is back. A lot of that is just taking a long hiatus and exploring some other things in life, getting outdoors as much as I possibly could, which I'm about to go do. I'm about to go ride my mountain bike on some brand new trails because I already got my work done for today and that is amazing that I can just go out and do that. And again, I have the freedom to be able to do that because you guys allow me to do that in watching these videos and supporting the channel and telling me how much that this all, everything that I do means to you guys because there was a lot of really heartfelt messages from people who told me that my videos mean a lot to them and it was very, very genuine. And I've definitely heard you guys say that before, but it really just kind of hit home when I was feeling down, when I was feeling like, why am I making these videos? You know, there, there are times when I make a video and I'm just like, am I really adding anything to this community? Am I doing anybody a service other than myself being able to express my creative vision and play around with gear that I enjoy playing with? But you guys have shown me that the answer to that question is yes. Yes, these videos do mean so much more than just what they mean to me. They also mean a lot to you guys. They mean a lot to the guitar community is what you guys have told me. So that is incredible to hear, to just know that something that you're doing. People have told me that my videos have changed their life. Now I'm sure that those aren't the guitar gear review videos and stuff, but I try to be honest. I try to let my personal side out on camera. I have no problem doing that because I'm a regular person just like you are. And it has never been my intention to come off as a cool guy, as a rock star, as somebody who thinks themselves anything different than you on the other side of the camera, on the other side of the screen, because I'm not. I'm just a regular dude who decided to make videos about his guitar collection one day and my life was changed forever. And again, I can't thank you guys enough for allowing me to do this because I cannot do this without you. So thank you for your support. Everyone who reached out, shared their personal stories with me. You have absolutely no idea how much that genuinely means to me. So I just wanted to say thank you. And moving forward on this channel, in order to kind of avoid that stagnation that I felt where I was basically just pumping out the same video with a different amp for weeks on end, I don't wanna do that. Now, I don't mean that I don't wanna do amplifiers, and I know that we have discussed this multiple times on the channel before, but I don't wanna be just the amp guy on YouTube. It is awesome to be 
a guy to have a niche especially when that niche is the thing that I love the most, which is guitar amplifiers. Obviously, as you can see behind me in all my videos, I have walls of amplifiers and it's just because I love collecting them and I love looking at them. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I walk into this room, I just think to myself, you are an absolute psycho, but that's okay because you guys give me a reason to be that gear psycho. So with that being said, I'm gonna try to incorporate some new, different, fresh stuff moving forward. The amp demos are not going anywhere and those are fairly easy for me to pump out, but I would like to try and explore some other stuff to kind of grow my creative abilities and my creative and just involve more of my creative interests because I'm not the most creative person in the world, but I do have ideas of stuff that I want to do on this channel where I don't really feel comfortable enough doing them. So I'm just going to start trying it and experimenting because that's essentially how I started my channel in the first place is experimenting with filming videos and some of them were really bad and some of my videos are still bad but I'm always trying to learn I'm always trying to grow I'm always trying to improve and I am going to kind of try and count on you guys as well for that because I understand that people are not gonna watch the videos that are not amplifiers as much and that's fine it's not all about the views for me it's about getting some personal enjoyment as well as helping you guys but if I'm doing a really terrible job or if there are things that you guys think that I can be doing better or if there are things that you think that I could be doing that I'm just not doing at all. I am gonna count on you to leave that down below in the comments. I'm gonna count on you guys to shoot me personal messages and really let me know what it is that you would like to see from me and if I think that it's something that I can do that I'm going to enjoy doing and I think is going to be helpful for the community, I'm absolutely going to take that into consideration and put my best foot forward, make an effort to do the best job of whatever that is that I can. That wasn't really a, a sentence, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say, right? So with that being said, Fack and Friday, viewers' comments, those videos seem to have just kind of died. For a long time, you guys were really, I feel like getting to know me, feeling me out through those videos, asking me all the questions that you could, but it kind of seems like interest in those videos has tapered off. So I am either going to maybe do those once a month, once every two weeks at the absolute maximum, because I just felt like it was maybe a little bit too much and you guys were kind of just getting bored with it. So let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, but you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you say that I'm right. But with that being said, yeah, we're going to scale those back. I am still going to try to do one or two amp demos a week. I'm gonna try to work in more pedals. I'm gonna try to work in more plugins. And plugins are another thing that you guys don't seem to get into as much from me personally, because I am not the recording engineer who demos some of these plugins like a lot of the other guys who are already doing them, but I still like them. I still enjoy them. I enjoy exploring the new technology that's out there. So I'm still going to do them. They may be sparing, but a lot of you guys also ask me to compare certain plugins to certain amps. I'm gonna work on that too because I think that's a way to make the plugin videos a little bit more interesting because for most of these plugins, I'm lucky enough to own the amp or have it in my possession or at least have access to one. So maybe that's one way that we can make the plugin videos a little bit more interesting. I am also going to start checking out some pickups. I have a pickup on the way to me that I'm very excited to check out with you guys. It's a signature model of a friend of mine. And then finally, I would love to get some just really interactive content with you guys. Now, a year ago, I started a series called Tweak My Tone, where I had viewers on the channel send me a quick breakdown of their guitar rig and then record a sound clip. And essentially they would tell me what they don't like about their tone and I would give them suggestions on how to fix it. So. I will actually put a card up here and a link in the description to that video because a lot of you guys really loved it. And I asked for more submissions and I never really got any. The only ones that I got after that were people who kind of didn't understand the format of the video so the submissions didn't really work. And there was only like two or three of those. So I was pretty bummed to be honest because a lot of people liked it but nobody really seemed to want to participate. So I'm gonna start pushing that. I'm gonna put a community post up about that soon because I would love to get that series rolling again. I loved interacting with you guys, checking out your rigs, checking out your tone, helping you in any way that I can. And I think that that series was just a great way to accomplish all of those things. So again, bringing back Tweak My Tone, I will link that video, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. 
if that's something that you think would be beneficial to the channel or not. I also thought about maybe trying to add some segments to the viewers comments or the Fact and Friday episodes in order to make them a little bit more interesting. I also want to work on getting more concise, which I realize I'm not doing in this video either. But every video that you guys see is completely unscripted for me. I don't script, I don't have liner notes. I just literally roll off the cuff with whatever is going across my stupid little brain. And that is what you guys see. So I need to work on maybe scripting things out or maybe giving myself some bullet points to talk about on some of my videos because I do tend to uh, talk in circles I've noticed or maybe over explain things to the point where it's just unnecessary. And maybe that just gets boring and you guys are looking for something a little bit more direct and to the point. Let me know down in the comments on that as well because again, I'm looking for feedback from you guys on how to improve these videos to better help you. And if I'm a little bit long-winded in a lot of those videos, I wanna know that. I wanna know if that's how you guys genuinely feel because that'll help me moving forward. So in order to try and uh, enact that conciseness that I am talking about, I'm gonna end the video here Thank you again for all your support, guys. Seriously, it means the world to me. I can't express that to you enough from the bottom of my heart. That was an emotional couple days for me reading the comments and some of the stories from you guys. And I can tell you that I am just super, super fired up to get back to work and to get some content out there for you guys that you're gonna love, that I'm gonna love, that everybody's gonna love. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Thank you to everybody who has helped out the channel in any way, shape, or form. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time.